One of the things I often get asked is, how do I open up an application as administrator? And I must admit, it's something that I never thought to do a video about because I just naturally assumed a lot of people knew how to do that. So here's a quick video on how to do that. So whatever the application is, we can just simply hit the start button. We could type in CMD, for example, to open up the command prompt in this case. And there's a couple of ways we can do this because it's already selected the application, in this case, the command prompt over here on the left-hand side, we can see that in the right, it's actually given us an option there to run this as administrator. So that's one option, we can click that. We can right click on the command prompt in the left-hand side and choose run as administrator. Now, when it comes to an application that you have on your taskbar, if you just right click on it, you're gonna see that there's no option here to run it as an administrator. But if you hold down the shift key on your keyboard, then right click, you'll see we have an option here at the top to run it as administrator. So if we just select one of these, it will give us a user account control message to say, are you sure you wanna do this? Just in case it's some kind of nefarious application running in the background, trying to get admin privileges. In this case, it was me. So I'm just gonna say yes. And that's it. It was very simple to open that as administrator. Now, often it's going to be a command prompt or a PowerShell prompt that they're going to ask you to open as administrator. So again, we can click start. We can start typing in power for PowerShell. Here's the application that we want. We can right click, run as administrator. We could select it down here. And again, if we do try to open up any application with admin privileges, we are going to be asked via this user account control message to confirm that we really want to do this. So again, we'll just say yes. Now at the top of our Windows PowerShell window, you can see the word administrator is listed there. That just gives you a visual confirmation that this Windows PowerShell window was in fact opened using admin privileges. And that's it. That's how you open up an application using admin privileges. Hope that helped you. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, do all that kind of stuff because it's nice to be nice. You have a great day.